hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to be working on this tutorial on this gown so i already folded the fabric into four pieces i already folded the fabric i will open the fabric for you to see but before that the length i'm working with is the length of 60 the length of 57 rather 57 plus 2 inch sewing allowance for the folding down that's why i have i had two inches to the measurement to the body measurements so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start from the down part this is the down part so from the down part i'll measure 20 21 can you see that from the down part I measure 21 then for the down part I decide to use 15 for how I want the down parts how much you want the down parts to for the width of the down part I decide to use 15 yeah I decide to use 15 so I'll measure 15 to that exact place that I shock 21. Can you see that? Then I'll just do it like this. This is a very, very simple. I know this tie is not new, but I just feel like let me just show you the way I do cut my own. The way I used to cut it in a very simple way. I'll just measure from the down and I'll decide how much I'm using for the down part. And after that, I'll just do the shaping. Then the next thing I'm going to do now is to come to the neckline to get my neckline measurement. So this is it. So for the neckline, I'll be using 5 by 4 inches. For the depth of the neckline, I use 4. So 5 by 4 inches. 5 by 4 5 by 4 so I'm going to cut that out right now I'll cut the neckline after cutting the neckline I'll I'm going to cut the other place the first place I chalk this is the down part. I'll cut it out as well. Then I'll cut it out. So I want you to pay attention to this. Because after cutting it, I'm still going to do some shaping. At this down part. So that it will give me that shape that I need. In that place. You know that place cannot just be like that for that style. So I'm going to do the shaping. Can you see that? Then I'll now cuff that place so that it will not give me that sharp look. So I'll just shock it out. So it will give me the round look that I need. Sorry for that. It's the fabric. So I'll now cut it from their ends. yeah so this is what i have so after this let me get the circumference of my sleeve how much you want your sleeve to be so depending on your choice how you want your sleeve to be so for this i use eight for the sleeve I use it for the sleeve band so I'll just notch that place I'll just notch it so that's that about that so we are done cutting uh, the style so the next thing we are going to do now is to sew the style we are done cutting so the next thing we are going to do is to sew it so I'm going to be using this I'm 
I'm going to be using this to turn it, to turn the neckline. So we are almost done with the turning of the neckline. So I'm done with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to sew it from the down part. Just sew it from the down part. You're going to sew exactly the shape you cut the other. So this is the space I leave for the sleeve the other time. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to sew the space I leave for the sleeve. I'll just sew it all round. I'll just sew it all through. I hope you understand this style. This is the this is for this is the sleeve. Just sew it. I already leave the space. When I was sewing it the other time, when I was sewing that down part, and I was sewing it from down to the up, I leave that 8 inches that I notch. Then it is that 8 inches that I notch that I'm trying to fold now. So I'll just fold it. So this is what I have. Can you see that? So we are done with the sewing. The fabric is ready. The next thing I do is I will use my hand to do the emmy. I used to use my hand for the emmy and this is what we have. Can you see that? This is from the cutting to the sewing. In 10 to 15 minutes, you are done with the sewing. Then after you are done, you weave the inside. If you love this, this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching my YouTube channel. God bless you. Bye.